And of course, of course we engage in military exercises. I mean, my God, we just, uh, NATO just finished a massive military exercise at the doorstep of Russia uh, over in Europe. And so countries and organizations like NATO do this stuff all the time. During the Cold War, we would have these massive NATO military exercises, and a week later, what was left of the Warsaw Pact would do the same thing on the other side. This, this is a lot of this is done just for optics, it's done for politics, it's done for a variety of reasons, but no one has ever believed during a NATO exercise, for example, they, they would suddenly make a left turn and pull into, <laughs> into Russia. And, and by contrast, no one has ever believed that during these massive uh, Russian military exercises that they would decide to take a trip to France. It just doesn't work that way. And so yes, we've had military exercises, if it's anything, to pass, uh, to get the message to the North Koreans that we're serious. Right. Let's go to Patty in Sarasota. Hi, Patty. Hi, I'm, uh, I, had, I called in earlier when you were talking about, uh, boy, we thought Hillary Clinton might be bad, or they did. Now look at it, which is obvious. And then I had a question. Okay. Um, why can't the, um, uh, so to speak, used and hired Dennis Rodman? Isn't Kim Jong-un in love with Dennis Rodman? Because I heard... Literally on CNN last night, they interviewed the general, and one uh, one guy kept referring to Kim as a nut, and the other guy, I think he was so intelligent, I forget his name, he said, you met, he said, this man is not a nut, and you always remember to uh, respect your enemies, whoever they are. Well, you know, I've heard the I've heard the Dennis Rodman stuff. And, you know, we live in such a crazy, insane world that could you really rule that? <laughs> I don't believe it. Rodman goes over there all the time. Oh, I, I agree. <laughs> well, Bill Richardson gets over there too with some uh, degree of regularity. But uh, you know, uh, uh, if the White House is listening, I'm sure uh, Dennis uh, would be more than happy to go. And I would imagine, don't you think he asked him that it is certainly true. Dennis Rodman has been to North Korea on a number of occasions. He's been vetted by uh, Kim Jong Un. And I would imagine when Rodman gets back from the United States dude, on those trips, he, he receives a discreet visit from the CIA or somebody from the State Department or somebody from our nation's uh, national security apparatus and they sit down and say, what? Tell us what you tell us what you saw. What was he like? What did he talk about? What did you eat? Did he say what did he what did he say? I mean it's all valuable information. I would imagine it it goes in some into some dossier somewhere to try to get a better understanding of him. And if Dennis Rodman is absurd as the scene wasn't Dennis Rodman on the apprentice I, I think he may have been in one of those Celebrity Apprentice uh, episodes. All right, let's go to Stephen in St. Petersburg. Hi, Stephen. Hey, how you doing? All right. So I was going to mention one thing. These little points in our country's history, which are not fun to get into the full details, is the Lincoln assassination and the Kennedy assassination. But I'm not going to really. You know, I want to talk about JFK. When JFK came in, he wanted to drain the ocean. Okay, he didn't particularly like. The old any uh, holdovers from the Eisenhower administration, even some of the people that he brought into his administration. Stephen, you're 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 getting into an area that is so. Uh, can you call back earlier next week, and we'll talk about it in a little more depth? Because I'm, I'm really up against the I'm really up against the clock. They are about to release a huge trove of like thirty thousand pages of additional information stemming from the Warren Commission on the JFK assassination. So maybe that might be worth. Uh, talking about when we get into uh, uh, next week. Let's fit one more quick call in with Al in Tampa. Hi, Al. Hey, how you doing? Real quick. Uh, I just wanted to respectfully disagree with something you uh, said you made earlier. You said that if uh, U.S. pulled involvement with uh, the with Middle East, that things would be worse. And uh, I had a, a hard time finding anything positive that has come from U.S. involvement uh, right. with the Middle East. All right, so stated. I got to run. I appreciate the call. We're coming up to the end of another thrilling episode of uh, Midpoint with Daniel Ruth and the Tampa Bay Times.